But first, it's Turbulent Tuesdays. And back with me, two men who certainly have a grip on things. Not each other yet. TV legend James Well and Mike Buckley, who should be an MP legend. What you got first for me this evening? That's me? you. Yes. Oh, I thought he was legend. No, you're legend. He's the one who must be an MP. Yes. I'm, OK, fine. Right. Um, uh, well, you know, if I was starting over again, who knows? ULES. Now, this is something everybody loves. ULES. This was in the Telegraph, for? right? Yep. Tradespeople take fewer days off work, says Sadiq Khan. One question. Is Sadiq Khan the stupidest man <laughs> in the country? <laughs> I'm asking the question. I'm not saying he is. But what a ridiculously stupid thing to say. ULES is going to put people out of work. It's going to close down businesses. And, and quite frankly, it's probably going to end up polluting a lot more. And that there is now, as you know, people going around wrecking the cameras. I do not agree with that. That's really bad. But people are becoming very, very angry. And we've got enough to contend with. I don't disagree, Mike. I mean, as you would expect, I'm a big fan of you. What I don't get with you guys who are against you, is why you want to breathe dirty air, why you want to die. Is there air, proof that why this is going to, get to make sick? any difference? Yes, of course there is. No, I mean, there isn't. It, it's, it's simply logical. If you take polluting vehicles off the road, the air's going to get cleaner. All right, but, but you have Same to... as when we banned coal fires. All right, but you have houses, to understand... The air from... got cleaner. You have to understand from my point of view... Uh, I've done radio for years and so has James. In our lifeblood will be London black cabbies. There is not one, Mike Buckby, who will not say their livelihoods are being screwed to the ground by Sadiq Black Khan. cabs, as far as I'm aware, are all clean. And a lot of them are moving They can't the get now. round London, mate. It's an absolute They're quagmire. Not That's got nothing to do with the you one guys. I... In fact, you will make that better because it will encourage people not to drive. No, it'll make life easy for black cab users. Sorry, sorry, how do we get... If we're not driving, how do we get where we're going? You get a cab or you get a tube or you get a bus oh, or so you get on a bike. You want me like to go anybody down else. A... I'm not... I'm 70. I'm, I'm not, not going to cycle you around. Bike. You can get a bus, you can get a tube. You a can bus, drive if you want to the drive. The most polluting you can get a vehicles cab. there are. Buses. I'm most buses in London are electric. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're electric or they're hydrogen. Well, it's, it's, it's the blazing I'll on the I'll tell you side. what I'll do, right? You get the underground air clean, because it is disgusting. Yeah, it is, but that's a whole other problem. I'll think about it. All right, Mikey. Stay uh, above ground with me, might it? Who would think that Mike Buckley would read an article from The, the Guardian? What have you got from <laughs> yeah. me, pal? This no, is, no. About, this is like brilliant. I'm the sorry. You are going to really struggle with this with me. This is fantastic. I mean, this one is time to whoosh back to the office, Zoom tells its staff. I mean, in a way, I think this is a bit of a non-story. You know, <laughs> Zoom is there for when you're not in the same yeah. room. They've never said you must always use Zoom. It's amusingly ironic, room. isn't it? It is amusingly ironic, and I get why it's been a headline. However, they would point out that they never said you must use Zoom exclusively. I, I'm, I'm actually reminded when this story came out about my brother-in-law, who, who's, who's quite high up in a big accountancy firm in London. And, and he said that <laughs> Zoom has absolutely and utterly changed their entire business model because never again will his company go, why are we spending hundreds of millions or tens of millions of pounds mm. to rent this? And, and you get into the whole thing about working from home and some people taking advantage. But for me, during during COVID, Zoom was an absolute lifesaver. Oh, for me as well. Do you know but I wouldn't want to spend yeah. my whole life on it. Yeah. I do like face-to-face. -face. I think it's important to I mix it I think it's up. better. I mean, I, I, you know, when I wasn't so well, I was doing all my shows from home. Yeah. Fine. But I wasn't having any, any of the... Uh, I couldn't find out what you were up to when you weren't... No, you home. need that. Uh, I think yeah. you need a balance. Uh, James, but you got something... One, one thing I must say about that yeah. is I think all civil servants and all politicians need to be in the House of Commons to do their job. Could not agree more. Duh, Telegraph, James. Yeah. Royal Mail. What's, that, what's the headline? OK, well, the, the headline, uh, Royal Mail cuts collection times to two hours. <laughs> now, uh, but we've all done a lot of uh, buying stuff online, I'm sure, over yep. the last couple of years. And the only people, and, and they can have a go at me again, I wrote something about uh, them in my, uh, my column in The Express a few weeks ago. I got really upset. But the Royal Mail and the Post, oh, I get them confused. And I don't really care. They're the worst, OK? Whenever I get little little bits of paper in my, uh, in, in my post box saying, oh, we couldn't find anybody in, you have to go and collect it. They never deliver anything, not often. And... Amazon and all the others don't have any problem. I, I must, I must say, Mike. I, I, I mean, I was watching this story and I was thinking to myself: apart from birthday cards, occasionally or Christmas cards, 
Are, is the is the Royal Mail? I mean, are they fit for purpose anymore? When you, I mean, he's right about Amazon and all these companies who have moved a step further. Is is the Royal I mean, Mail it, ever going to be the same again? It's another botched privatization because Amazon don't have to do it yeah. to every yeah. address in the country. Agreed. They don't have to do it seven, six days a week, and they don't have to do it within twenty four hours. Mm. The Royal Mail does. It's got this mandate from the government, yeah. requirement from the government, but it's a private company. I think it's we're all agreeing company. on that, yeah. aren't we? Completely. I hate, I hate to say, it. yeah, I think so. But maybe it's time for the Royal Mail and the other to go. I mean, there's no need for them. There are loads of independent delivery companies doing a good job. Absolutely doing good. Um, I had to do this. I don't want you to get upset about this, Michael. No, I won't. Uh, I didn't. I called you Michael J. Okay. Um, Mike, this is from The Sun. I love this. Read this out. So this one is appetite brain part bigger if you're fat. So the hypothalamus, which sits in your brain and basically tells you when to eat something, it grows bigger, it, ex it expands if you've eaten too much and if you get overweight. So uh, what we don't know is cause and effect. It looks like, based on what happens in mice brains, if you eat too much, you get fat, it grows, and then it tells you to eat more. It could be the other way around. However, the conclusion to this is eat less, get some exercise. What, what happened to greed? Am I, I miss, sorry, you know those people who go, and I'm going to get into trouble when I'm going to say it, because my mother used to say, you weren't born big bones, she used to say to me, were you? Nobody's born big bones. But you haven't got big bones. It's the fat and the flesh on top of the bones. But now we live in this woke society where you can't call somebody fat anymore. No. You can't actually say, oh, you put on a few pounds. People do to me, by the way. But, you know, it's, uh, it's up to you. If you want to be fat, and sluggish and not be able to travel around. That's up to you, but don't blame everybody else. I mean, else. I think it's important not to be judgmental. It's clearly some people, and if some of them, you know, I'm friends with people like this, and you probably, you You're probably are as well. You're friends with people who are... Who are overweight, We're who not are allowed plus to say, size, however yeah, you really? want to term it, but who try really hard. Yeah, I agree with weight. that. You know, they go to Stemian World, they go to Weight Watch. But then whatever, Mike Graham would always say, do I don't care, I quite like a glass of wine and I'm happy. Don't, you know, well, I know some people like that as yeah. well, and that's fine if that's how you want to be, but I do know people who really try and they can't But we do, do live in a world, and we talk about pressure and, and, and kids and sexualization. we do live in a world now where television and, 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 and magazines, it's all about how you look. I think be happy, but I'm not quite sure whether... You know, you know that argument, there's something in fat your brain people doing adverts on TV just because they're fat and everybody thinks that's good we're being inclusive I don't think that's good at all because doctors will tell you that it is not good to be that overweight granny it's always used, well diabetes all that granny used to say you should eat three meals a day you shouldn't eat between mm. meals you should exercise you should try and sleep eight hours and she's but right at, but at the end of the day you know what do we know we are obsessed